we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in to the seventh installment or ep- episode of the Money and Biz Career reading. All right, so let's get in get into it. Thank you God for blessing each and every person who comes to the reading with a clear concise message from you. All right, so the first card that we got was hobbies. Yes. Some of you do something very well, okay? Or you or there's something you do that you love and you're trying to figure out how can I monetize this? How can I get paid to do this very thing? I love to do it. I could do it for free. That's going to come by like prayer, having a plan. Because at the bottom of the deck, you had seeking and finding. So this talks about, hang on, you had seeking and finding. So it talks about, uh, oh no, hold on. Now you had seeking and finding. So it talks about, um, of course, gaining information, knowledge, prayer. It also talks about um, discovering your life purpose, okay? It talks about meditation, can't make it up. It's like you have to meditate, and then in that meditation, you're going to get answers of how to maybe do what you love. It's like maybe returning to you, returning to self. Also, you know, being comfortable with self. Maybe you have to get comfortable with maybe an adjustment in your life. You're going to have to sacrifice something to do what it is you love. Like, you may love to paint. You may be a great painter, an artist. You're trying to figure out how you can monetize that and then also maybe maintain the lifestyle that you have thus far. It might be that maybe your lifestyle has to adjust. You're going to have to make some adjustments. You uh, Maybe you can't live where you used to live. you got to sell some things. you got to move some things around. you got to save. I don't know, you know, but... It comes by meditation, prayer, and um, like finding your life purpose. You know, when you get into something, you get into your purpose, you get into serving others in any type of capacity, in any way. Art can be of service to others. It can heal. Um, Art can be inspiring. So when you start to get into your life practice or your life purpose more so, um, God, spirit, Whatever you believe in will make a way for you. You're not going to be a pauper. You're not going to be out on the street. You're not going to be poor. You're not going to be a beggar. But it is going to come with great transformation. You have to be willing to sacrifice something. So it looks like um, in order for you to do what you want, what are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice that nice, cushy con- condominium or the car that you drive or the six or seven dollar lattes that you have every day. I don't know. You know, you have to get in meditation and prayer and, and, you know, let God work with you and your spirit so that you can get to a place of um, coming out of being complacent and being dissatisfied in what you do for a living, but also unwilling to let anything go. Come on. If that's not a word, it's like everybody wants to 
go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. It's like everybody wants to be their own boss or entrepreneur or do what they love, but nobody wants to give up anything to do it. It's like, no, I still want to be able to buy Chanel, you know, every month or whatever. Yeah. Some of you have some inspiration. Knight of Cups, you have, like, inspired thought. It comes from the universe spirit. The universe has been trying to, you know, um, speak to you about the gift that they have always, that was always with you, embedded in you, you know. Um, also, the Knight of Cups talks about creative, you know, being creative. It also talks about creative measures to make money. So if you can't completely replace your income, uh, your... Uh, yeah, if you can't completely replace your nine to five, your income, your job, then maybe this is something you can do, you know, outside of the nine to five so that you can find satisfaction so that you can serve. It may take a while for you to get to a place where you can just let go of the job. It's not overnight. Let's see. Yeah, five of wands. Some of you are there's so much inner conflict within yourself, competing goals. Some of you got all these things you want to do. It's like you need to drill down where you, you best are suited by way of, you know, God placing you there and you being of service to others. Wow, the devil. Some of you rest in extreme fear, you know, fear of letting go, materialism. You're fighting for what you want. Some of you just want to be, you want to have money. You just want success. Maybe you want fame. You want material gain. Some of you want something very quickly. What is the devil? Clarify the devil because it talks about unhealthy choice. The five of wands talks about something that competes with a goal. So maybe you, you have unhealthy spending patterns choices made in your life that just do not coincide with oh I want to monetize my hobby ace of wands so it's like something that you do is contrary to what it is you say you really want your actions reaction entrepreneurship inactivity lazy slothfulness some of you just not en enough activity. So some of you want to monetize your hobby. You want to get paid to do what you love. Some of you just don't do enough of it. You don't put it out there. You are marketing yourself. You, you know, there's no visibility. Uh, you don't do enough of it. You get lazy. You get despondent. You check out. Um, clarify the devil the chariot it's like no balance or your short-term goals you lose fire no progression ace of wands no you start but nothing progresses um so you just don't stick with it you're not stable enough like in your mind in your heart this might not be something that you really want to do you might be chasing after the money you might be doing it because other people are making money at it but it's not what you really want to do. It's some of you need to meditate, seek divine uh, guidance, clarity about what is your purpose in life, and not what will I make money at, you know? Because you can go make money in the stock market, but you have no love for the stock market. Queen of Wands in reverse, yeah. It's like again, no vibrancy, no visibility, not networking, not getting out there, not putting yourself out there, uh, no action. She gets a lot done in a short amount of time. Some of you don't get enough done in a long amount of time. Um, so this is just lazy because you're not committed to it. This is you always having to reconcile with it. So you always got to come back to it or you got to yeah, it's always a new start with it or a new passion with that five of wands. Some of you, something doesn't turn over as quickly as you want it to. And you go to the next thing or I'll start this or I'll start this business or I'll do this. I'll do that. Yeah, you just keep changing your mind and it leads you to a place of depletion and feeling 
like you wasted your time, your money, or something's not turning over. You're always going to have not enough. Because you don't stick with it. You're too flighty. You're doing something just for the money. I heard clout. You need to go on this spiritual trip. Take a little trip. Yep. And let spirit minister to you in, in regards to where you should be. So for the money and the biz reading, it's about some of you need to come up. Okay, if you chase money, you'll always be chasing money. Think of the words that we're using, chasing the bag or go get the bag or chasing money or chasing my dreams. If you're chasing anything, that means it's running from you, correct? Why is your dream running from you? Why is money running from you? Why is it not running to you? Why are you not resting in the energy of abundance? So abundance is a dance. So when you dance with someone, you're in harmony, you're in sync, right? Clearly, you're not in sync with abundance. You're out of sync with it because you're chasing things. So it's like you need to figure out where best, where, where are your gifts best, you know, highlighted, your strength is, where can you serve? Well, when you realize where you can be of service to others, that's most time 100% where you're supposed to be. What is this about? Yeah. Queen of Swords, getting some clarity, going to maybe a trusted individual and asking for help, asking for clarity, um, getting advice before you make cuts, before you leave something. Because we got somebody here who just starts one thing, doesn't take off quick enough, and they leave, and they go to the next. Think about if you were doing that in a job, if you were doing that in a relationship, if you were doing that while you were cooking dinner, so you you started you you put your your food in the pot, you might have to bring it to a boil or to a, a frying sizzle type of you know heat, but you you don't have time for it. You don't have time for, to get it to boiling temperature or to a temperature where it will fry. So you just leave it. This is what some of you are doing in regards to trying to establish yourself in business or in your career. Something doesn't take off as quickly and then you're just like, F it. I'll go somewhere else or I'll do something else. And think about if you were doing that in relationships. You met somebody one week. This person hadn't popped the question to you in one week and you just leave him. Or, or let's give it a month. You leave. And, and and you let that be your reason. You're like, yeah, I left because it's been a month and you didn't pop the question or you didn't ask me to move in or you didn't give me your debit card pin. You know, I don't know. You just leave because it's, it didn't yield this great return in a short amount of time. So some of you are just leaving things. Yeah, you need to come to, some of you had a good idea and it could actually bring you a lot of fortune. Stuff like that didn't take overnight. Some of us can be overnight success. Kudos, great job. Many blessings goes out to those who are going to be overnight success. But a lot of us, come on. Some of y'all ain't never even won bingo night. And you think you're going to win big like that and be an overnight success. Some of you have just been unlucky. You just, luck has not always rest with you. So why do you think you're going to be an overnight success? You got to have some tough conversations with yourself. You know, just because it happened over there with those people doesn't mean it's going to happen with you. You got to be willing to see it through. Um... Success is imminent for some of you. Wow. With some of your, if you just stick with it, wow, can't make this shit up. The world, success is imminent. It's bending space and time. The sun card, the universe aligning you, putting you in the sun, illuminating some things to you. Um, Ace of Wands, you getting started on something, being fired up, passionate about it. 
And then the dance. Just dance. The chariot card. You, the universe propelling you, you know, get putting you in that marker bot and just putting you in that place where you're supposed to be. Divine appointment. Divine timing. Divinity can now you can help you because you're in the right place, right time. But it's about you finding that place and that time. It only comes seeking and finding via um, meditation, okay? via meditation, uh, prayer life, you know, discovering your divine purpose. Like, why are you here? Everybody has a part to play. It's going to be different for each and every one of us. And it could be that your part is to play at a job, at a corporate setting. But where is that? In what capacity? In what job market or what industry? Meditation and prayer. We all want a shortcut. It ain't going to happen. I'm telling you that. So this is what I have for the money and biz career reading. Looks like some of you just need to buckle down, strap in. It's going to be a ride. It's going to be a long ride. If you don't take heed, like you got to just work with the energy and not against it. Yeah. I got to work with the energy and not against it because it's like some of you just, you're trying to lean towards your own understanding and the universe is like, no, lean towards God's understanding, the universe understanding. Go with the flow. Yeah, you need to talk to, get some advice. Got mature woman. Then you had the queen of swords coming out. Get advice, good advice from someone before you, you make cuts or before you make a, a choice. Um, good advice. Because some wrong advice can lead you to being stuck being stuck a lot whoa doing the wrong thing to just being stuck this is this reads to me it's like a wasting of time energy and resources yep and something being hard work and you being back at square one so so you don't have to endure any of this get good advice get good advice go to someone advisory advisory people never want to pay for advice or advisory you just want to go out there jump out there do it on your own and then try to realize why is it not working or you, you stop being backwards you know and i'm not talking at you i'm talking with you i've done it too um of course you know that i have the business mentor the intuitive business coaching um so there's an intuitive side to it there's a spiritual practice to it um but you can get business coaching with anyone who you trust. Uh, but I also have a coach, you know, your business coach got, ha has a coach. If your business coach does not have a coach, maybe you don't want to deal with them. Uh, I too have a coach and, um, you just gotta get coaching. You gotta be willing to learn, learn from others, mistakes and, and, uh, achievements. Okay. So if you want to get on a call with me, I do a complimentary discovery call to see if I can even help you in regards to your business endeavors, your career endeavors, whatever it may be. Go ahead and schedule your complimentary call. The link is below. If you want to be around like-minded business individuals each and every month, join the KTMG, keep the momentum going monthly conference call where you get all things um, business first and uh, all things spiritual and practical in regards to your business, either establishing your business, um, maintaining it, or growing your business. So get involved, you know, um, it's extremely affordable. The bit, the, the um, group coaching, uh, thank you, many blessings to you, take care.